finally, after two plus years, we finally have a brand new Old Town boat here in the house. I asked Old Town to send me this boat over for review. I say, hey Old Town, haven't done a lot of sit inside kayak videos. I need a sit inside kayak. And guess what? It is here now. So I'm gonna show you how it comes from the factory. We're gonna go over every single detail of this boat. We're gonna give you a full tour of the boat. Then we're gonna take it on the water and we're gonna do a demo. But the demo video, isn't another video. There is gonna be a playlist. If you find one video about this boat from this channel, just keep searching because you're gonna find more. Everything's gonna be a playlist. This has been here for probably two weeks already. ICAS, we were at ICAS when this came in and I haven't had a chance to, to open it. So look at it, this is how it comes. Old Town does a wonderful job setting everything up, making sure that it's packaged properly. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. I'm gonna take it over there get that camera angle and just get it done let's go so this thing they said right there handle it with care we're opening this thing real time i want to see if it was handled with care now when you buy this boat it doesn't come with the paddle or the pfd this is not the pfd i use all the time it looks like it's a new one i don't know but I do use the Angler one a lot. And you see in all the videos, very comfortable. This one looks nice too. It's a little different design. We're gonna test it on the water with this kayak. Now, please always wear your PFD. There's no reason not to, really. You know, it's important. I mean, I think, I think your life is important, isn't it? You, you tell me. PFD and the paddle do not come with the boat, but these are really good paddles as well so if you're gonna have a paddle kayak like this one and we're gonna unbox it pretty soon it is very important that you get yourself a nice paddle this is fiberglass i recommend carbon if you could afford it if not this is plenty good but it's still a good paddle goes a long way dude once you remove all this extra packaging stuff this thing feels so light it's still wrapped up and it feels very light and that's why you may want to get a sit inside kayak if you're not in if you don't fish in nasty conditions because sit inside kayaks are way lighter because there's just like one piece instead of being double everywhere look at all this packaging they do this to make sure the kayak comes to you safe and sound and you don't have to put a warranty claim or anything like that on it and it's nice how they just get like a giant piece of plastic and they put the kayak inside it's cool let me show you how it looks over here and we already see some added fishers bonus things that can help your fishing that's cool let's unwrap the whole thing right now because I want to I wanna show you what the kayak looks like. I want to give you a quick walkthrough of it. And then we're going to get ready to take it on the water and do the water demo. Which is going to be a different video, by the way. Guys, don't do what I'm doing right now. Like, seriously, this is a bad idea. I just want to record some of the stuff that I'm doing here. But, like, look, if you have a sharp knife like this, you may cut into the plastic or the fabric or whatever. I'm just doing this because it's easier. And it's fun, actually. But don't do not do it at home, please. I want you safe. I want you catching fish. Not like in the hospital, okay? Like, do not try this at home. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And that's why I use the knife. Ooh, Loon Angler 126. I'm excited about this. I can't believe I'm saying these words. Like, I never get excited for a seat inside kayak. I just go, eh. But this thing, I started reading about it, the specs and everything, and the things that it has, like, I want to take it out fishing. Like, you always want to have that super light, easy to use kayak that you could just take out because you got 30 minutes and you don't want to be bothered with batteries or PDLs or whatever. You just want to get on the water. And this dude, this may be it. I've been searching for that kayak for a while. I have a few, I have a few contender videos that I made before in the past, but dude, this may be the winner for quick fishing trips. God, I jumped behind the camera because it's easier to make these videos. Me behind the camera like this, kind of like one take in allowing you to actually see the boat instead of seeing my amazing face. I know my face is amazing, but hey, you're here because of the boat. 
So let's just start right here, give you a quick walkthrough of all the features that I have. And look at this, man. It's kind of like it got padding here. So this is so nice because a lot of times you drop things in here. Like let's say you drop your keys, you just drop it there. And otherwise in a normal boat that will go all the way to the front. Like it, you don't know what it is, but here it's closed and it's padded. That's cool, man. And this seal uh, from Old Town are super watertight. I mean, we could flip this boat, but like we know what's gonna happen. It's just it's gonna be full of waters. You know what? Maybe we should flip it on purpose and see what the recovery is like. I have never recovered a sit inside kayak before. I did a canoe, it was horrible. But a sit inside kayak, I haven't done it. And I think I wanna do it, just like show you my experience on it as a first timer. I'm not gonna search the wet or anything like that, I'm just gonna do it with what I know and see if I'm able to recover the sit inside kayak. That will be an excellent experience. Let's do it. Look at this, guys. Look at this right here. You gotta click and look at this, guys. Built in, not built in, but flush mounted rod holders. They look, this thing looks like rivet. Is it rivet? Oh my god, Old Town is using rivets. You know I hate rivets. Come on. Come on. Anyways, doesn't matter. Let's talk about this right here. Look at this. It, it, you, for example, the anchor trolley. Set it loose right here. Let's say you want to anchor yourself in the rear right here. You just lock it down right there. And this thing is not going to move if you pull this way. Now, it's going to move if you pull this way. But hey, you're going to be anchored this way. So it's not going to move. You see? It's not going to move. It stops it. So that cool stuff. I wish it was all... Oh, along the boat right but hey you get what you get look at the design right here dude like look at the attention to detail it has this nice logo here from old town old town makes older kayaks in old town maine and they could go back hundreds of years to trace kayaks when they were made and by whom this is crazy man and whoa this handle here nice and the bungees are kind of like hidden like, is this like a work of art? Like, seriously, I don't wanna sound like a fanboy, but like, you really gotta appreciate the design. Like, you don't see this type of design going into a sit on top fishing kayak. Like, this is more like, I don't know. I don't know if they know that not a lot of people are gonna buy this or spend more time on it, making it special, or I don't know. But that looks pretty impressive, dude. And look at that aggressive bow right there. This thing is gonna fly. I mean, swim through the water. We're gonna see what that is later. I don't know what that is. But anyways, let's keep going, guys. You got a rear handle as well. Flush mounted rod holder. And this, for a day bag or a dry bag, or maybe a soft cooler, you could just put in here because you don't have like a tank well like you normally would have. So you have this storage in the rear that we covered before. And here you could put like a soft cooler. Now, moving on, we got this fancy seat. It's bungee down right here. So let's just, man, it's so hard to film with one hand, but hey, this is blah, blah, blah stuff. Oh, not so much blah, blah, blah. We, it looks like we have to do some setting up. We're gonna do that later. That's for the paddle holder. And uh, so guys, when in doubt as to how to do something, just read the instructions to raise, lift the handle, to lower and squeeze the cover and the handle. Ah, boom. Bring it all the way down. Looks like we have police activity. I don't want to show where I live, so. Police over there. Woo. Nice. And over here in the back, you have for the back, moving it. Oh, oh man, this is like high. Like, why doesn't Old Town do this to their normal kayaks? Like I know how he's done it. They are like the tensioning and all that stuff is like more like high tech. Look at this, a, a wheel. Why doesn't Old Town do this for normal kayaks? Like seriously. Like you get all this high tech stuff. Look at this. This thing is special, man. It's gonna take me a, a, a long time on the water to set it up to how I wanted it. But like, like it has little things you just press that and you could release the thing back. You press this to bring it up and down. And this right here, it has a wheel here and you could like bring the header up 
or down and lock it down once you do it. Like this thing is cool, man. And why don't we have stuff like this on the seat on top fishing kayaks? Ooh, man, cool. Okay, 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 let's keep going. Here we got some nice padding. Kinda helps you like when you're sitting down, you lift, you're resting your part of your body in there. It doesn't feel hard, it's just the plastic. You got adjustable foot rest right here, which I bet you could rig up if you put a rotor. I don't see a place to put a rotor, but hey, you don't need it for this boat, but I, 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 I bet you could figure something out. Now, I, I don't even know what this is. Let's see what this is. Looks like a command center type of thing. Okay, let's open it right here. We got more plastic that we have to get rid of. Whew. All right, let's take this out. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but the attention to detail and how this boat is built, I'm sort of like falling in love with it. Seriously. Uh, me saying that about sitting inside, what the heck is going on with me? Sheesh. Ooh, all right. So now that it's in place, let's lock it down. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, it's not moving. Whoa, and you have a USB port there. So I guess what we can do, let me see. I don't know how to open this thing, let me see. Okay, open. Oh, no way. This thing comes with, no way, dude. It comes with an anchor for the anchor trolley. And you got a USB port so you will put your battery here, in there, and pop doors, lithium batteries, by the way. Let me bring one here so I can show you. And you open this thing here and you could charge your phone or I don't know why you want to charge, but hey, dude, I think it's too small for the Bisbee battery, but I got some amazing ideas to put a Ampa Dorth lithium battery in here, set it up with this cable to be able to charge my phone. But for now, we just got this power bank right here let's just put it there and let's go ahead and put the cable in here and do it right there boom we put that in there if it fits uh, yeah it fits there you go i mean find a better way to do it i'm filming our videos i'm just gonna put it in right now but before we do that let's go ahead and this the only complaint i have about this is that you may lose it so just put it in there and uh let's just Plugging in. Let's put the phone here to see if it shorts. All right, so phone is here. Hey, this is a real phone, not iPhones. iPhones suck, by the way. Just get an Android phone. Way better. So let's see if it works. And it is charging. Oh my God, dude, that's so cool. That's so cool, man. Like, I didn't know this boat has had all these little things, man. And you have a, like a gear truck here. So if you want to put a camera mount or if you want to like make this a fish finder station, like you could put your fish finder mount right here, put your battery inside and just give it power. Like you could do a lot of stuff with this right here. Dude, this is impressive. I like this. That's pretty cool stuff, man. And of course, um, if you look underneath, uh, that's a bottle holder right there for your bottle of water. And it looks like oh this is not all check this out that is how it's supposed to be dude this thing holds the phone here and you charge it through that little hole in there <laughs> high-tech kayak this is this is nice this is very nice actually now i wouldn't have my phone like that because if you tilt or whatever that thing is falling off the water i would still tether it somehow like like i like to put a fishing line on it and attach it to myself or just attach it to somewhere on here so you don't lose it but this is cool, bro. You know what, dude? <laughs> when we take it on the water to do the water demo and I want to measure the speeds, it has a built-in speed measuring system. And I don't know how strong this is, but this should hold a camera. And if anything, I could just get this bungee here and help put it in place, you know, hold it in place, actually. So, <laughs> dude, it's going to happen. We, we're going to take it on the water. But before we do that, I do want to give you a walkthrough of the bottom of the boat and also tell you all about the specs and pricing and today's pricing and also install this right here let's go two hands well balanced not heavy we're gonna go over the specs right now let me just flip it over so i could tell you more about it 
this old town loom 126 is the name says it 12 feet 6 inches long look at that bottom hole looks really nice this thing is just gonna fly on the water for sure i'm probably gonna hit easy five miles an hour on this boat it weights only 60 pound fully rigged as you saw it let me just unflip it flip it over to show you Boop. like that of course i guess without the anchor that is inside there it weighs 60 pounds now one thing Old Town says is that the boat capacity is 450 pounds, but usable capacity is 390 pounds. I will go by the usable capacity. So that means 390 pounds could carry yourself, your dog, and fishing gear. If you put a battery and stuff like that, it should be under the 450. Not sure exactly what the math is. Gonna leave it at that. Just look, if you're a big guy, if you're 350 pounds, do not buy this boat. You're gonna sink get something bigger <laughs> i don't know get a boat but yes gotta watch out you gotta watch out how much you weight how athletic you are if you're gonna get into a smaller size boat you gotta be careful with that so there you have it guys now pricing and i should jump in front of the camera for pricing because first time i'm ever gonna set foot inside this sea feels nice gonna have to do some adjustments for sure but this feels nice see this, this is nice. I could get used to this. It's very stable. I mean, you're not going to flip at all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on dry land. It's a joke. Anyways, guys, pricing. Uh, right now, it's like $12.99 for this boat. And right now, I think it's already worth it. <laughs> for all the goodies that you get on this boat, you get like a water dry set up right there that you could charge your phone away on the water, enjoying your, your whatever you're doing. And if you fish calm waters, and you really want to sit inside kayak, this, this is a great value. I mean, you could get one or one more for like three, four hundred dollars, but dude, those are trash compared to this. I'm telling you, you gotta see this. The attention to detail that they put into this, all the SR goodies that they have, the seat, the adjustment that the seat has, totally worth it. You're back, who well, thank you. But that's the price today. God knows what it's gonna be tomorrow. Maybe it's three thousand dollars by the time this video is online. We don't know, we don't know. But today it's $12.99. Not a bad price. We're going to take it underwater right now.